this generation's Intel top GPU is the B580, at least for now. And in today's video, I'm diving into the performance comparison between Windows 11 and 24H2 and Linux, in this case Endeavor OS. I'll be testing games at 1080p and 1440p, spoiler alert, there are some surprising results. For this comparison, I'm using my mini PC equipped with a Ryzen 8845H CPU, which is based on the Zen 4 architecture paired with the 5080 through Oculink running on PCIe 4 with 4 lanes. Keep in mind that the 5080 is a PCIe 4.0 GPU that requires 8 lanes. I think this setup provides a more realistic test than using it with my 9800XVD since that CPU would never be paired with the B580 in a real world scenario. Both Windows 11 and Linux are updated with the latest drivers and patches. For Windows, I'm using the most recent Intel display drivers available at the time of the recording. On the Linux side, I'm using the latest drivers with the newest kernel and have enabled game mode as you can see on the screen right now. Now, I originally planned to test games with ray tracing enabled, but I ran into some issues on Linux. In Hogwarts Legacy, for example, enabling ray tracing caused some texture issues, which you can see now on the screen. I switched to The Witcher 3, and while it launched fine with ray tracing on, the game froze after less than a minute of gameplay. It wasn't a system issue, the game simply didn't play nice with ray tracing enabled. This prompted me to focus more on raster. Additionally, when it comes to raster, I had plans to test other titles, but on Linux, games like Ratchet and Clank and Marvel's Rivals just wouldn't start. The results that you are gonna see are obtained from three consecutive runs with the same settings used for both 1080p and 1440p. For simplicity, I'll only show the 1080p settings before each side-by-side -side comparison. I'll gather all the raster performance and add it in charts. Sorry. 
They mustn't get away. Got that? today. A 1080p Windows 11 came out on top in most of the games, winning all but one. Linux managed to pull ahead in Hogwarts Legacy and came really close in Civilization 6. My guess is that the lower CPU utilization in Windows might explain those results. Overall, Windows was ahead of Linux by around 9%. Moving up to 1440p, things got more interesting. Linux took a victory in No Man's Sky. More on this later in the video match windows in the finals, though with worse 1% low values, and came really close in Civilization 6. Windows still won in most games, including a noticeable gap in Counter-Strike 2 where it delivered better 1% low values than the average obtained in Linux. Averaging all the results, we can deduct that at 1440p, Windows is ahead by close to 15%. While Windows 11 definitely performs better in most games, at 1080p, it's clear that the B580 is very CPU dependent. For example, in Hogwarts Legacy, it's likely an optimization issue. The same can be said about Civilization VI, a game that came out well before Intel's Arc series. But there are games like Counter Strike 2, a game that is easy on the GPU, at least with these settings used, where the CPU can't push it to its max potential. A concerning part is that Cyberpunk 2077, with RT off, we can see the GPU utilization stays below 90%, the CPU used is not able to push it to its full potential. This is surprising given that the Ryzen 8845H is based on the Zen 4 architecture. It's not the fastest CPU, but it should still be more capable than what we're seeing here. If you have a B580, let me know your experience in the comment section below. Linux, however, does a better job of utilizing the GPU, which is why we see Linux pull ahead or match Windows in a few cases, despite some issues like the one in Hogwarts Legacy, where the GPU utilization kept dropping randomly below 100%. I'm not sure why is this the case. But not all is rose in Linux. Some games simply don't run, while in Windows you don't have an issue. In No Man's Sky, I was experiencing big stutters in Linux, especially when doing fast swings, but not only that. In Windows, I didn't see that, as evident from the 0.1% low values shown in the side-by-side -side runs. The finals didn't feel smooth either, the same can be said about Hogwarts Legacy, but to a lesser extent. 
So, if you have a low-end or an older CPU and wish to pair it with an ARC B580, have in mind what I said. If you have a B580, I would advise to use some overlay application and check your in-game stats as you may be able to increase settings at no performance cost. Intel's Battlemage series is a demanding GPU. It needs a good CPU in order to extract the most from it. While Linux performs a bit better in some cases, Windows 11 generally offers smoother and more consistent performance across the board. I personally use the B580 in Linux for recording my side-by-side -side runs and it works great for that purpose. I occasionally game on Linux with the B580 but play all the less demanding titles like Beyond the Steel Sky but it's not my main GPU for gaming on this OS. For now, I would not recommend Linux over Windows on Intel GPUs if gaming is only what you want. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video and found it helpful, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below to help with the algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.